here we are, guys. End of the week, Friday, and today we are getting the jobs report. This is a big macro factor when it comes to Shiba Inu and the broader crypto market. So let's talk about it a bit. Now, everything is just waiting right now. Shiba Inu is waiting. Bitcoin is waiting. The broader crypto market is anticipating this report, and it is scheduled to be released today at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, here's what to expect, okay? The jobs market has been a little crazy lately. We had this massive spike two months ago, 500,000 jobs blew the expectations out of the water. Then we had a subsequent month with another 300,000 jobs added. This is way, way high compared to what the Fed was expecting, which is why they've continued to go through these interest rate hikes. Now, however, we are expected to see now a job growth of only 239,000 jobs in this last month while unempl unemployment is expected to be steady at 3.6%. Now, these are just the estimates. So we may end up being way higher than this. We may come back lower. But the important thing about this is it shows that the economy is continuing to cool. That is a very key part here. This is the reason why the Fed has continued to interest rate or raise interest rates. And if you guys remember, this di directly affects the price of crypto. It's one of the key reports that does this. Obviously, we have the jobs report, the CPI report, the PCE report, and then obviously the FOMC meetings. All these things dictate crypto price because if the economy is not performing well, typically the other the, the markets aren't going to do well, right? Now, what they are saying is the overall jobs market is getting now to a point that it hasn't been at in years. Okay, we are expected to see actually the lowest lowest amount of job openings since May of 2021. So we're talking almost two years, guys. It is headed the right direction, and it is just taking time to get there. Now, what are we going to come back at realistically? I think we may actually beat some of these expectations. We may end up at about 220,000 jobs. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. And this would likely send the market into a little bit of a run. However, don't be surprised today if we do get some, some flat trading, right? If we come in around these expectations, it'll likely mean that we're very dependent on the CPI report. Now, you guys may want some direction today. I know I'd love to get, I'd love to have the charts going. I'd love to have Shiba and you go for a run here. I'd love to have BTC really try to take a stab at 29K, which it did not do this week. It pretty much floated around, you know, 28, uh, what was it, 28.6, 28, 28.7, and then just died out. So the great thing here is stuff is going the right direction. The markets are going the right direction. The economy is starting to go through a bit of its recovery. Now, whether we're going to have a soft landing, whether we're going to see, you know, these, these markets continue to go the way they are, that's a big unknown at this time. You know, obviously, if we end up entering a recession, like if, if the Fed just continues to go too hard and then the economy just crashes, that's not good for the markets either. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty abroad, but, you know, we'll just kind of have to feel it out. It's kind of a weird time. We're really having to feel things out. But be prepared, guys. 7.30 a.m. Central Time, my time, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, that is when the jobs report will be out and you're going to see some sort of movement. So... Appreciate you guys as always. Definitely show your support below, but I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Let's go out there and kill it, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.